What is up, guys? Welcome back to Jade Empire. We're gonna try this boss fight one more time. Uh, I just tried it once off camera. Oh, I was recording, but then I started to actually get very, very frustrated because Shining Tusk is a piece of garbage cheater. He's already starting, so we're gonna try this match again. Oh my God, I can't move. Mm. Uh, and so it begins. He just controls the whole level by ground pound. I really just got to burn all my chi to kill the foxes, but I need to save all my focus for Shining Tusk because... Oh, that's not gonna work on him. As long as you can maneuver around, don't let him ground pound you too much. Yeah, it knocks me down at a certain range, but if I'm close, he actually does damage with it. I don't want to hit Shining Tusk. I don't want to hit Shining Tusk. Oh, that would have done like two thirds of my life right there if I had let him hit me. I do a little bit more damage with my sword. I upgrade it just a little bit. I don't want to upgrade it too much because of the uh, oh. I didn't want to spend too much of my points on it, because I don't know how much long I'm going to be using Longsword. Not like it's a spoiler or anything, but you get different weapon styles a little bit later. And I don't want to, uh... I don't want to hit Shiny Tusk. Come on. And he's so big, he takes up like half the half the room. Well, that goes like a fourth of my life with one punch. One punch Tusk, freaking clobbering people. When I was a little kid, I thought Shining Tusk was so cool. I always did the good route when I was younger because, uh, I don't know, just different. I like doing, like, the selfish route. <laughs> I think it provides funnier options. It's not like my guy's been totally evil. I mean, he's a little bit evil now because he's betraying, like, fox spirits and they're supposed to be, like, super good, but... He's done good things before, once. He keeps his word, usually. Hey, Shining Tusk, what's up? Ah, Half-Life, perfect, one punch. I'm gonna enjoy destroying this dude. Bring it, you tub of lard. Oh, I didn't interrupt him, perfect. He still, he just... He literally just haymakered me for half my life. In slow motion. For shame. Mm, I'm gonna be greedy. He's not dead. Kill him! Oh my god. What a freaking beast. I need to level up right now just so I get all my stats. Health is not as important. I have 41 points. Good lord. I'm gonna save him. The Celestial Order. Oh. I'm sure I'm throwing it into disarray by killing Shining Tusk and trying to kill the Fox Spirit, but did I get anything from that? I don't think I got anything from that urn. Did I? Some silver, maybe? Maybe. I can't really tell what I got. Oh, I have to fight all these Fox Spirits now. Bring it. The shrine's on the way down, so I can burn whatever resources I want. Bonk. We might need to get Black Whirlwind up in here to do some fighting. Dawnstar's actually done pretty well, especially for that boss fight with Shining Tusk. But, um... We might just need some damage out, because I can heal up the fool before I fight her. There's two shrines down here, so. Ah, oh, what's up, Fox Spirit? I like how they're conveniently placed here in case you decide to do the bad route, because you have to fight all of them now. 
What you got? Walk. Oh, faked you out. You can sometimes fool the AI really easily, just if you hold down block. They always want to charge attack you. Then you can just dodge it and get like a free punish. It's an RPG mixed with what seems to be fighting game <laughs> mechanics, which is nice. Oh, I think I already read this one. How many, uh... I need just a little bit more money. I'm actually gonna buy that new Tiger Style. I'm just gonna sell whatever I have left. I've acquired some great new so, items. Do you want this gem of purpose? I might keep that though. It doesn't seem that bad. Do you want this charm gem? Sweet. I want your Leaping Tiger Style. We also have Legendary Strike, but I think Leaping Tiger might be good. I think it matches Sun Zan a little bit better. Let's actually equip it now. Yes, and what is my white demon? How many points are in it? One, two, so three, seven, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. I imagine I'll be using this one for a little while. I'll probably keep this as my martial style, but we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have 25 points for whatever we want. Plus, I think this style might actually be really fun. Change of pace. So we're going to try it out. Those fox demons didn't even land a hand on me. Which is nice. Let's get going. I don't remember actually ever using Leaping Tiger. Kind of want to try it out. Yo, I like the... <laughs> Oh wow, I feel quick. Holy crap. Focus. Yo! <laughs> this style is already kind of cool. Mm. I actually heard that, um, that Leaping Tiger is the best martial style in the game if you, uh, know how to use it. Like, if you guys saw the charge attack I do, this one, it actually makes you invincible temporarily because you're in the air so high. And it, it like beats every other martial style from what I remember reading. Like it wasn't like an official board, but it was like a forum long ago. And they said like if another person has tiger style and they do a charge attack, if you do your charge attack right after they do theirs, you always hit them for free. I don't even know how I took damage, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking about fighting game mechanics. Oh, that was a big clothesline. I hope you're proud of yourself. That's all you're gonna get on me. Get stun locked infinitely. Yo, <laughs> this poor fox spirit can't move. <laughs> Just the stun lock. I also killed your boy, Shining Tusk. I respect that. Now bring it. You're not much better than your sisters, actually. You're actually not doing very well at all. Gosh dang, what a disappointment. Okay, I take it back, I take it back. You're, you're doing just fine. You can't keep up, folks. Wait, is this? Oh, what? Whoa, 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 what happened? I just got mulched. She hits like as hard as Shining Tusk, but she's like four times faster. Are you serious? Yo! <laughs> what? Oh no, I have to go. Oh, F you all. She did so much. Heck, I'm just gonna go ahead and... I was like, again, my stats were low because of fighting through the freaking gauntlet, but I'll just increase my stats and then... Then we will see who is who and what is what. Freaking fox spirit garbage. 
Is there any reason for them to have this much health, though? Maybe because I haven't upgraded all my styles very high, but... Oh, yeah, of course. Couldn't hit her. I wish you could get them as a style, but I don't think it's uh, in the game. Oh. Oh, okay. Bring it on. I'm not gonna feel bad for it stun locking you though. You kinda deserve it. Whoa! Is she just not taking any damage anymore? Well, she's blocking, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. Long sword. Did she get hurt by magic too? I wonder. That was risky. I probably shouldn't have done that. Especially if I wasn't sure if it would work or not. Oh, oh? What was that? I'll foreshadow, you're not actually that tough. Never mind. He's good half life. Oh, and she heals? Oh my lord. What is this nonsense? She just drains all of your spirit and half your life. Alrighty. Do it again. Oh, what was that? That's a very good move, but she's only doing that. And she healed again? God, good lord! What a savage fight. Look at that! Oh my god! She's just healing throughout the whole fight. <sighs> that just that just 180 no scope to me right there. I refuse to die to you a second time. Foreshadow. You and your cheesy strats. That just hit that didn't even oh that didn't even make contact. Get away from me, you savage. Eat it. Eat the frost bolt. Good for you. Let me guess you're gonna outheal that, right? Alright, I think I got her if she falls for the same trap. I didn't switch styles even though I wanted him to. Gosh dang, Sun Zan, you gotta win this. Freaking finally. Now she's just walking in walking in place. Oh Oh, is this shooting me right back to the inn? Oh heck. I wanted to go collect that style. Tempest or whatever. Gem of Earth power, what's that? Where did you oh, The Spirit? She's dead. And you are returned to us by the heavens themselves. We are free of the curse of the forest shadow. All of us. This is a time for celebration. You have done us a great service. And soon we will feast to celebrate. Spirit claims she was behind the ghost in this forest. Your celebrations be danged. I'm here for my reward. 
Spirits have no place manipulating us. She deserved her. She, she deserved her death. I just want my reward. And you shall have it. Yes, you shall have a most special reward. I offer you a most unique chance. Look and see the glory you have set free. See us as we truly are. Gaze upon our forms and bask in our glory. You should be honored to see the true strength of the cannibals. It's them. Their corruption is what I've been feeling in this forest. They are vile. I sense in you a kindred spirit. You know power for what it is. A tool to sweep aside those weaker than you. Because of your nature, I wanted to work with you in the open. We are the powerful ones in this forest, and our majesty must spread. My nature made you want to reveal yourself? What magic allowed you to cloak yourself so? Majesty, you are disgusting. I don't know <laughs> what you are, but you clearly need to die. You're, you are disgusting things. You know nothing of beauty. You know nothing at all. You must understand that we are servants of a powerful demon known as the Mother, who has taught us to draw strength from human flesh. The forest shadow imprisoned her millennia ago, but you have freed her. Our Mother will rise up and consume all who stand in her way. How did the f what if I destroyed the Mother? Would you be free of her curse? You are so very stupid. But the mother has I, I, I did curse. promise the foreshadow that I would kill both of them. We eat the flesh of your kind, and its energy makes us strong. The mother has beautified us. In return, you should not speak about killing the mother. It is a sacrilege. You have our gratitude, but not our trust. Take your silver and go, thin blood, and we will part in peace. <laughs> this forest has seen enough meddling by demons and spirits. It's your turn to die. I see I was wrong. Destroying you would be my atonement. Knowing what you are, the price made has just gone up. <laughs> I love these options. This forest has seen enough meddling by demons and spirits. Oh, hang on. Let me try something. Your kind is concerned with nothing more than silver and prizes. You are pathetic and weak-willed. Fine, human. You will have more than we agreed upon. We gathered the silver. Fall through on your end of the deal, and we are in Peacekeeper. You gathered the silver? Good, because I'm going to destroy you as well. Ooh! <laughs> My people! This is the treachery of the Thin Bloods! Gather! Leaping tiger. Huh. And I have no health. Well, that went really poorly. I had no health. I had no health for that fight. I didn't know that they were gonna just zap me there. <sighs> Back here. Perfect. I'm just gonna black the screen out, guys. I will pick it up as soon as we finish fighting the uh, Force Mother. Peace. What is up, guys? Sorry about that. That took some time. Um, we are back, and I think this is a time to delve into Sun Zan's character a little bit more. I mean, as much as he hated the Fox for the boss fight that she put me through, I think it was the most powerful opponent he's ever faced. So he does have some respect for her. And he's not, like I said, an entirely evil character. He would not doom the entire forest just to doom it. But realizing when he's done, I think it is time that he makes atonement for his mistake and takes out all of these cannibals. So let's go ahead and take somewhat of a noble path after we murder the fox. You have already killed the fox. This forest will only grow worse, no matter what you do. The mother is too strong for you. She will consume all who stand in her way, and you will be first. Tear him to pieces. We will feast. Bring it on, cannibals. You guys are weak sauce. Oh, 
Oh, there's a lot of them, though. Gosh, dang. Yo, yo, there's a lot of them here. Oh, man, if I had a weapon, this would be so much easier, but I don't have one. Let's see him hopefully magic hurts him. Immune. What about support? Oh, they do get shocked. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this fight just got so much easier. Behold the majesty that is Storm Dragon. It's an absurd style. Let's see how this works here. Alright, so here we go. You stun everyone by shocking them. They're all stunned. Explosion. Regain your focus. Shock. Explosion. Regain your focus. Shock. Explosion. Easily the best style in the game. Look at this madness. You can literally pick apart any opponent as long as they're vulnerable to harmonic combos by doing this. Oh, the one, sh the one patron. I mean, the one uh, innkeeper is immune. I just killed your whole crew by infinitely harmonic comboing them. Hope you feel bad about that. Oh, right, and uh, you can just shock him infinitely with a uh, storm dragon. This is when the game gets a little bit too easy. Once you buy storm dragon. He can never move again. He can never move again. He just has to sit here and eat infinite combos. Because I keep shocking him. <laughs> this is absurd. Bring it on. You guys obviously want this. Storm Dragon. I'll make atonement for my misdeeds and I'll take and I'll take you all on. Oh, even the stun attack hits them all. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this freaking exploit. I don't even feel proud of using it, but I didn't have a lot of focus to begin with. That's not fair at all. That was astonishing. I haven't seen such martial skills in an eatery since the last time I added ginger to my wife's hot and sour soup. Thank you for your great kindness in rescuing me. Now that these beasts are dead, I can finally talk to you. My name is Henpecked Ho, and before you ask, I'm not one of those monsters. They kept me prisoner so that I could seem normal to the customers. Pleased to meet- wait, did you just say Henpecked? Mm, I'm Sun Zan. I certainly don't mean to rescue you. Uh, okay, this, this is me. This is my name. Well have asked. My wife is unique. To say that she is as enduring as the wall itself is to do a disservice to her persistence. I could make similar comparisons between the force of her will and the Imperial Army, but I think you have the Oh my gosh. Why don't you just leave? You have no idea what you're suggesting. The last I saw of her, she was in the Imperial City. I was due back more than a week ago, and if she hasn't torn the place down looking for me, I'll be surprised. That's beside the Oh my gosh. I must thank you as I clearly owe you my life. These cannibals were getting desperate enough to cook even someone as ropey as me. The last thing I needed was to be dragged into the caves below. Uh, there are caves below this inn. Yeah. I heard a lot about the caves from the cannibals. There's something down there they call the Mother. And I think she, it, whatever, is what made them what they are. 
How do you reach the caves below? That is something I do not know. They would leave the inn and then. Oh. Um, uh, what do you. I don't think it really matters. We just know people get dragged down there. Is there anything else? They were celebrating the release of the mother not too long ago. Somehow she was freed from the forest shadow's trap. That may have been my fault. Something like that. I think another thing is Sun Zan lives to fight and challenge himself. So fighting both of them would actually be the ideal scenario in his case. He also hates to be manipulated, which is what both of them were doing, so. I'm not much with my fists. Not anymore, anyway. But you'd be surprised what tricks an old bun master might know. Have you ever heard of drunken master style? Drunken master style? You mean like freaking Baraicho? Yes. I've never seen it. I was a master. Top of my game and well known in Phoenix Gate, one of the great cities in the prosperous east. My skills earned me fame, fortune, and a wife. So you can fight alongside me. Perfect. You weren't listening. Fame, fortune, and a wife. I discovered <laughs> early on that she had opinions. Most of them regarding alcohol and my regular consumption of it. I can still teach you, though. She has never expressly forbidden that. I have a few bottles on me right now, if you'd like to look. Sure. Pay attention. I don't like repeating myself. Now, when I am with you, I can throw you bottles of wine. You must pick these up in order to use Drunken Master. The effect wears off quickly, but I will make sure you don't run out of wine, as long as you keep the enemy. I think, unfortunately, Henpecked Ho is the least useful companion. <laughs> Because Drunken Master is actually a garbage style. It looks cool, but you actually do significantly less damage. Look. Look how low look how little damage I do. What is that? Your ultimate move is you get tipsy and fall over. Ugh. I might be slamming Drunken Master a little bit hard. I feel like the actual charge attack has well, I thought I had good range. Never mind. The style is garbage. Ouch. Oh my lord! And that's all you're gonna see of Drunken Master, guys. There, you got it. Your job isn't done, though. There are. The hill heaved a short while ago and dislodged a panel in the kitchen wall. These creatures seem to think it was a. If you truly want to finish this, you must deal with the mother. The cannibals talked about her often. She's down there. Uh, I've cleared a path. I don't really want him with me. Place. Good luck. Unfortunately, I just think that style's total trash. We're gonna switch out our teammates too. Let's see bring some black whirlwind up in here. He's actually gonna do a lot of fighting, so that's good. A panel, he said. Where is this panel? Because I want to do the... Oh! Right back here. Alrighty, guys. So, next video, we will fight the mother. And then we should be done with the forced segment of the game. So, that would be ideal. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.